Let's go! So here are my various beauty sponges laid out on the table. These three are the Forever 21 Love and Beauty sponges. As you can see before getting wet, they are smaller than uh, the Real Techniques and also the Beauty Blender right here. Uh, please excuse me, I have been using these three, that's why they look dirty, but I have cleaned them. Of course, before you've ever used a sponge, they're going to look nice and pristine like this. So the first thing that I want to say about these is uh, this one right here was the Bundle Monster one and this one is very hard. It's the hardest of the entire bunch and I want to say that this turquoise one is probably the closest to this really hard sponge that I find quite difficult to use. So I'm just going to set this one aside because I don't really like to reach for this one ever. The two that I love to reach for are the Beauty Blender and the Real Techniques. So I would like to know how these three stack up to these two over here. The nice thing about the Forever 21 sponges is you get three of them and they're all different shapes and also their different consistencies as well. So uh, this one here is also a little bit hard, but not quite as hard as this one up here. Uh, this one here is also a little bit hard, but this one has a round edge and a pointy edge, whereas this one over here is more of an oval shape. And then this one over here has a rounded edge and then also a very pointed shape. So it kind of reminds me of how you can use the Real Technique sponge for multiple different types of surfaces on your face. Here's my bowl of water. I will start by putting the sponges in. I think I won't bother with this sponge because I've had a whole video on this one, so we'll just set it aside. But I'm sure you want to see how it performs against the Real Techniques and also the Beauty Blender. So, I'm going to go ahead and dunk all of them. Okay, I can tell this one is not very absorbent at all. A little bit disappointed with that. Um, the Real Techniques gets nice and soft, just like the Beauty Blender. This one over here, eh, too, a little bit too hard. And then the yellow one, not really growing in size either. Um, hmm. So I'm going to have to say so far that they remind me very much of this kind of a fail beauty sponge, unfortunately. So even though they're cheap, they may not perform that great. So I'm going to go ahead and wring them out and then I'm going to try them on my face. I put my eye makeup on but I haven't put foundation on yet. I'm going to do that now with these three Forever 21 Love and Beauty sponges. All of these now are hydrated and as you can see the Real Techniques one is the largest. The Love and Beauty ones really did not change size that I can tell. Maybe they got just the tiniest bit bigger but I feel like they didn't really hydrate much at all. So that's a little bit disappointing to me. And I'll start with the green one. It's not really performing like I would expect a beauty sponge to perform. To be honest, it's taking too much product. Normally I need just the tiniest little squeeze of that mixture that I made. I'm going to use this one now for the corners of my nose. Whereas I just don't know if I feel like this is distributing the product on my face very... I don't know... efficient. I can already tell by the way it's soaking up the product. This non-dupe that I really didn't like, it just soaks up all the foundation and very difficult to wash it out. Whereas at least with the Real Techniques and the Beauty Blender sponge you can clean it to a point where it doesn't look like it's catching all your foundation like this. This is kind of disappointing. I was hoping that the uh, Forever 21 sponges would be better just because they're so cheap and the shapes of them are Kind of attractive one. I could see that this might be useful for concealer underneath your eye to roll it, but as far as bouncing goes, it's not the most comfortable 
have a sponge on your face, whereas the Real Techniques is pretty comfortable and so is the Beauty Blender. The coverage doesn't look that bad, I guess you could say. But I'm wasting a lot of foundation. I mean, good thing this is my Project 10 Pan stuff that I'm trying to use up. But otherwise, I would be like, I'm not going to use some high-end <laughs> foundation with these things. That's for sure. I'm going to leave my forehead. Uh, most of you know I don't really like to put foundation on my forehead because it breaks out very easily. Let's try the last of the sponge. This is the one that I had the most hope for because it's the softest once I wet it. It was actually the softest when it was dry as well. But wow, I sure am wasting a lot of foundation today. Strange. It's just, it's very strange. So basically I squeeze it and it just, just takes all the product. It's like, where did it go? It's barely distributing any to my face. So I would like to name these sponges foundation eaters because that's all they're doing. Eating up my foundation and not putting it on my face. So I sure had to waste a ton of foundation on these. Even though they're cheap, they're not going to be so cost effective because you're going to be wasting more foundation using them. I feel like it's a little bit uneven too. Like I can see splotches on my face. I don't want to be hitting my nose too hard. My nose is very delicate. So that is basically the result I get from these sponges. Um. Hmm, it's actually okay. So I had a little bit of time to think about whether or not I like these Forever 21 sponges, and I'm gonna say that they're a miss. They're cute, they come in a pack of three, they're cheap, but they perform very much like this non-dupe for the Beauty Blender. They don't get soft when you put them in water, they don't really change in size, and they just soak up all your foundation, so you'll end up having to waste a lot more product. The only thing that I can think about as to whether or not you might possibly want them is if you just want to have different shaped sponges that could reach into spots like here, but honestly I think that using my fingers is just as effective, actually more effective than using these particular sponges. So I hope you guys found my review useful and see you guys next time. Bye!